Okay, awesome stuff. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the International School of Traders. Welcome to our weekly Forex analysis and signals session. Guys, if you can hear me loud and clear, just drop it in the chat, drop it in the comments and say that you can hear me loud and clear, right? So I'm just quickly uh, check on the chat here comments uh, and see what's going on. Okay, tell us where you're also joining us from this evening. I'd really love to know uh, before we get into the gist of what we are doing. So my name is Mubarak Tiana, the CEO and founder of the International School of Traders. What are we up to tonight? We are looking at uh, what the market has for us this week. Since yesterday, I did not record any session uh, since this video, I did not pick up any session, so I am uh, recording this one with you right now. Uh, it's Lazi here, I can go here from PMB, Peter Morrisburg, in Johannesburg. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, let us look at what the market has for us this evening. Okay, cool. Uh, somebody's also from Springs. Awesome stuff. Now I'm recording this session with everyone from the uh, city group and also from also the international school of traders groups. So let us uh, start, uh, let us get started. Uh, I'm new here, I want to learn how to trade. That's why everyone is here also. Uh, but tonight is not about the nice uh, kind of a session. Uh, in a session, uh, the easier recorded session that is in the group, that is in the group. Uh, I am going to be showing you, I, I am going to be reposting that video for beginners uh, to get to that, right? Cool. Now let us look in, uh, let us look in the market to what this for us to this week. I'm not going to look uh, into the news. Uh, Okay, let me, let me start off with what somebody says. We're not going to look at what has already happened this week. Uh, uh, there's a lot of things that has happened today. Uh, the industrial production is going on. I'm going to look at um, what's happening tomorrow. So, for those of you who are trading early in the morning, uh, please uh, do take note. Early in the morning, the Australian dollar is expected to move because the, uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia is going to be releasing some meeting minutes, right? Then in the early hours of morning tomorrow, like uh, eight o'clock, the Swiss franc will be, uh, the Swiss uh, Switzerland will be releasing the trade balance, which will affect the Swiss franc. Right, then the Spanish trade balance not going to be a big, of, big mover. Uh, then there will be some sort of speeches in uh, the afternoon tomorrow, uh, some speeches from the Bank of England. And then we do have some building permits tomorrow uh, at 1430 GMT plus two, uh, that is South African. Right? FOMC uh, speeches will be to uh, at uh, 17 15 South African time uh, PM. Then we do have another one at 10 minutes to 9 uh, uh, South African uh, South African time. In the, right? It's got now that uh, I have. Uh, Let us look at the technical. So I'm for connecting from Pretoria. Uh, that's Gilbert saying time for ninja setups. Let's look at some ninja setups. Let me share my screen. I'm gonna look at the other things for us. Let me share my screen. I'm gonna start off with Euro USD. Right, uh, this one, guys, 
should have used the this one. Obviously not in the field group. Uh, this one was a beautiful setup today. Uh, it was one of the setups that I was looking at today. But I was very, very tired guys to post and update you and to trade with you. I didn't even trade. So this was a beautiful trade. This is a beautiful setup here. Very, very important setup. Uh, so please, uh, please, 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 this one. Ish, what do I have? <laughs> um, let's look at the trend. The trend has been bearish. Uh, but we're seeing some very important things. Daily time frame, uh, we're still bearish, yes, but this is a retracement that we are seeing, right? This is a retracement that we are seeing in Euro USD. Are you going to take another buy? Let's see. Let's see. The, it's, it's not, the, the euro is going to be stagnant for the next couple of hours. And the dollar is going to be stagnant for the next couple of hours. So for me, I'm not going to trade these uh, markets now, but I'm going to be trading it tomorrow. Maybe in the morning, uh, but obviously, I will be trading it around the New York session. So there's a lot of negative there to be moved. Uh, a lot of money that will be moved during those times. So I'm not about to trade this one, right? Uh, both of the markets are statement. Uh, for those of you who were with me uh, during the training uh, this, this past Saturday, I hope you do remember what we spoke about there on the trading sessions. So, uh, let's look at uh, what the euro dollar has for us. Obviously, I'm still going to be waiting. I'm going to wait for markets to retrace on this one. Uh, maybe to this level, it's going to be very important. Then markets is going to start jumping. Okay, we've already started to do this. So, the dollar is here. Uh, so, the previous high, the markets broke the previous high, there was a group. But, uh, and then we had a new low uh, here. This might be a very good start of the bridge now. This might be, it's not written in stone, but this might be a very good start of the bridge. That's right. Close that. And then uh, let us now look at the STCHF. The STCHF for me is very, very bearish. Uh, let's look at, please don't, don't mind my R. Say it's very, very bullish. <laughs> I'm really guys. South and really, 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 really. Okay, So, uh, this market went exactly to 61 earlier today. Fortunately, I was asleep today. I was resting, guys. It's been uh, ever since COVID, right? Ever since COVID started, I wasn't able to post uh, the big classes where I'm allowing. Now that people are vaccinating, now that people are uh, uh, familiar with COVID and all of that, people can now come into the office and we are going to be having another session. And like we had uh, this past Saturday, we are going to have another session this coming, but this coming weekend, we need to be in calendar. So this coming Saturday is it. In the Saturday uh, of the 30th, the, the 30th, October 30, October 30, we will be together in the office. So if you are looking for that one, looking for a training, uh, please do make sure that you are in the office. Looking for training, advanced training from beginner to, to, to advanced, and um, please do make sure. And if you are uh, coming uh, in the future, you are coming for training, please do take the beginner's course, the beginner's guide that I posted on Telegram. It is mandatory for each and everyone who is coming to learn from me. It's mandatory. So if you're looking for training from me, uh, maybe if you're looking for, for training from any other guy uh, out there, then it's not mandatory. But if you're looking for training from me, 
the beginner's course that I will again push on the Telegram group today is mandatory for the to be From there, we're no longer going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about very important stuff. Um, uh, Tabi saying, are you well? Are you okay? Okay, sure. Now let's get into the gist of today. Uh, let's get into some of the setups that we're going to be talking about. Um, some things that are very important. So this is just to see a chef, just to see a chef. Um, let us see what the market is for us. Um, we are having a very beautiful bearish market. So for me here, what I'll be looking at in the morning tomorrow, not now, not now, uh, in the morning tomorrow, uh, I'll be looking at something uh, more or like this. If this market continues like this, right? If this market continues like this throughout the throughout this throughout tonight, I mean that tomorrow I'll be looking uh, at maybe a retracement from the support area retracement. Uh, but this market is very bearish. We're not going to be looking for any buy situations uh, for the next couple of hours, right? For the next couple of hours, we're not looking for any buy situation, we're looking for uh, sellers. So um, I think for those who, uh, who, who, are, who is trading tonight, like not tonight, like in the early hours of morning, like uh, one o'clock South African time, uh, 1 a.m., 1 a.m. moving, like 1 a.m. towards uh, 5 a.m., who's trading during those hours? Who's trading during those hours? If you are, you can just say me in the comments so that uh, if I analyze now, I can analyze uh, the dead mindset that there is somebody trading. Okay, cool. I don't know if Redang, Redang is the one that I'm trading the early hours of money, if, if you are the one. Okay, cool. Uh, it's only things that I'm seeing. Okay, I'm not the one trading that during those times, but let me look. Uh, Red Dang is also going to be trading. Not going to be trading, that, but let me look at how the market is lining itself up uh, for the early hours of the morning. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, not GDP. Okay, let's look at USDJPY, right? USDJPY. Uh, check some Okay, who's that? Checking on four hour on the JPY. Checking on one hour on the JPY.
Okay, cool. I can see what the market is trying to do. Um, what, what I can look for here in this market is a bounce of this market, like from where we are, uh, to this area. But this is what I can look for, a reversal. But if this market fails to reverse, then obviously we're going to look for something uh, like this one, right? So, so this is USDJQR. Um, there's no news that I expected uh, in Japan in the area of money. Uh, when I take when I check on a day, to see So, yeah, um, that's what I'm also seeing here. Yeah. I don't know if it's me. <laughs> okay, I don't have sound beside. Can somebody help my panel? Head to all the back. Tell them to connect via sound or via device for you. Or to connect to their microphone. Okay, cool. So um, let's look at XAUUSD. XAUUSD, very, very important um, thing to look at. So earlier this earlier today, uh, I was looking at this setup, uh, market bouncing on this level, and market peak bouncing this level. Uh, that's my idea. Is my idea still like that? Um, <laughs> and not really. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait for my kids to give me a clear direction here. Since my whole idea, my holistic idea, for those of you who've been following me for a while, my holistic idea is that market must or should breach a certain level. So we'll see, let's see how things, the market is still still bullish here on smaller time frames, not in a, not in a bigger time frame, but still bullish on smaller time frame. Uh, there's still more buyers, more buyers than sellers here. Still more buys. So, my idea is that we should be looking for buys. And this is a, and we should be looking for A. Again, yes, my that's my idea. Yes, yeah. uh, the cat, what's going on here? I think one of my favorites should be Euro, US, Euro AD. So in the early hours of morning, there is uh, some news on the dollar, Australian dollar, actually. Uh, so this one can be very interesting to see how the market performs. So I'm looking at a very beautiful buy, uh, buy entries around this zone. So if you're trading in the early hours, you can consider looking at this one. Consider looking at these areas for buys. Let me delete this guy. And they're actually not correct. Let me delete this guy. Um, so there the, is a high chance to gonna see something more like this one. Okay, more reliable area. 
to the sun. Sun is Cat JQI, CHF, ADN ZD, let's see. So the general idea is that in a seller's market, you're looking to sell, in a buyer's market, you're looking to buy. So that is the basic, basic, basic way of looking at the market, right? So the seller's market, you're looking for sale, the buyer's market, you're looking for buy. So it's very British. So the lines are not the fancy, are not fancy at all. For those of you who are saying these are fancy lines and stuff, the fine the, the lines are not fancy at all. These are trend lines, and we use them to show, to really display the idea that we have. So my idea here is that market is going to come and bounce in this area and continue to sit outside, and then we can look for sales again. So, CHF one but CHF is a cell order that I opened here. Okay, good. So, this order was opened at five. Yourself. I can extend my, extend my, my take profit on this one just a little bit. Okay, yes, these are. Uh, yes, these are. Uh, there's this area I've been looking at for quite some time. This is a very beautiful area of support. Um, this area is a very significant area, which is the area. So for me, I'm looking to buy here. Let's do that tomorrow, not today, but tomorrow. So moving forward, right? Let's see what the market is for us throughout the night. This is just 30. And I think the idea is very simple. Right? The idea should be very, very simple on this one. This one should be very simple. Tracement by look at this impulse retracement by retracement. So wait for something like that new stock markets. So yeah, that's all for tonight. That's all for those are the setup that I'm looking at this week. Um, now remember, we this Forex Summer Special is still ongoing. Uh, we still have the Forex Summer Special. Uh, it's, it's not uh, it's not too cheap in mind, but it is uh, it is uh, one cheap in mind for the full course, right? And then. Uh, Somebody is trading around 4 a.m. That's offensive. I believe that the market that time would be the full of the story. So at that time, we can prepare 
Prepare for eight. Prepare for eight months. So uh, the Forex Tama special is still ongoing. It's ending this Friday. So many of you are looking to come for the period of 30th of 30th of November, 30th of October. Uh, you want to hop in on the special. It's ending this coming. Uh, this coming uh, this coming Friday for next week Saturday this coming weekend we're gonna be having an online uh, class uh, this coming weekend we're gonna be having an online class so prepare your data for those of you who are in the intensive school catered we'll be having a class online during the day um, and then um, this coming Wednesday uh, we are going to be having a questions and answers session. And obviously the one-on-one -on -one sessions continue tomorrow. And then um, uh, tomorrow in the evening, we are going to have a session. Uh, we are going to have a session tomorrow uh, in the evening, live on Zoom with the International School of Traders. Then for those of you who are on, coming from the free group, um, we are going to have with you only the trading session, uh, trading session. So uh, on Wednesday, eight in the evening, Wednesday, eight, eight in the evening, tomorrow, eight in the evening, then tomorrow at 12 noon, 12 noon, we are trading together, looking at the markets. Uh, so that is all for today. Uh, if you're looking to learn, if you're looking for the full course, you're looking for the training, for the training, Please do give us a WhatsApp and we are going to uh, share some details with you. Then you can start it with the International School of Traders. For the 30th of October, if you don't want to miss out, come and join us in Rose Bank. We are going to have a full session, full day session with you in the market. And that's all for me tonight. I will see you on the other side of the withdrawals. It's your one and only. Shalom.